In this video, I'm going to go over the STRP BRK function in C, which finds the first character in a string that matches one of the characters in another string. So to use the function, I'm going to have to include string.h, because that's where the function is defined. Now the string.h library comes with C, so you're always going to have access to it. And I'll make a string that looks like this. I'll say car s is equal to, and I'll have some letters here, and then I'll have some numbers. And the idea here is that I want to find the first number in this string. Maybe the situation is that it's some kind of code and the code starts off with letters and eventually goes into numbers. And we're looking for the first number in the string because that part of the code is important to us. So we'll make the num array look like this. And we're basically gonna look for the first character in this string here that is one of these characters here. So we'll say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're basically looking for the first num character in this string here. So to call the function, we'll say strp brk and we'll give it s and num. Now what the function actually returns is a pointer to that first matching character, the first character in this string that is one of these characters here. And we'll say here car star, and we'll say match is equal to strp brk. And what we're effectively gonna get back is a substring of this string here, starting from that first matching character on to the end of the string because we're getting back a pointer to this character here, the first matching character. So if we do a printf of match, we'll see what we get back. We'll say percent %s and we output the match and we'll compile it here and run it. And we get back that number there, the number on the end of our string there. And so what the function does is again, it gives us back a pointer to this first matching character, the first character in this string here that matches one of these characters here. Now, if the function can't find a match at all, it's gonna return null. So we could say here like car and I'll say punct. And let's say we're looking for punctuation characters like comma and like colon and semicolon and things like this. So semicolon and colon, I should say there. And we'll try to find one of these characters now in the string here. If it can't find them, what it's gonna do is it's gonna return null. So we'll say here, strpbrk, and we'll look in S for one of these punctuation characters. And we're gonna actually name our variable here fail that's gonna store the return value because we know we're gonna get back null. And we'll say here, if fail is equal to null, printf could not find, just so that we can identify that we couldn't find anything. So again, the function is gonna return null when it can't find one of those characters in the string. So that's what you get back, could not find here because fail is null because it can't find one of these punctuation characters in our string here. And so that is the STRP BRK function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.